it's not really a straight path. It's more like a messy uphill bike ride through chaos, confusion and some stakeholder trauma. In this video, I'll show you the five harsh realities of being a data analyst. This video is packed with practical stuff that you can put into action right away. So I'm going to show you how to handle each challenge with confidence. Let's move. Last week, I was in Japan to give training at Adidas. One analyst said, it's so annoying. Stakeholders are asking for dashboards, but they have no idea what they really need. Honestly, I used to get super frustrated too. But this isn't just annoying. Also, it's an opportunity. And that's where you can shine because you become super valuable if you help people discover what they actually need. So how do you do that? You do that by digging deeper. Ask three questions. First of all, why do you need this? Second, what decision will this help you make? And three, what would success look like for you? This reveals the true need behind the request. However, even if you understand the real need, there's still such a long road to go. So let's continue biking. Come on, hurry. It's urgent. When do you need this? When I need this? Yesterday. <sighs> Just pull the data. It's simple. I can deliver it next week. <sighs> okay. One day later. You're not just doing analysis, you need to manage expectations. Stakeholders want answers fast, but think of it this way. You're not a McDonald's employee, you're a chef and good meals take time. So how do you handle the pressure? By pushing back and showing why it's in their interest not to rush. Say something like, if I give you something tomorrow, sure, it will be fast, but I want to help you reach your goal of increasing revenue. And if I rush, the insights will not help you make it a good decision. Let's keep pedaling. I know you care about data, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. But here's the third harsh reality. Stakeholders don't care about data. They care about better decisions. They don't want to hear R squared. They want to hear, here's what it means for you. So here are some tips how to speak in their language and make your insights land with stakeholders. First of all, marketing. What they care about is engagement, retention, campaign performance. So you can say, this overview shows which campaigns are driving repeat purchases, so you know where to double down. Next one, sales. They care about hitting targets, closing faster, and generating revenue. So you can say, this dashboard helps you spot which leads are most likely to convert, so that your team can prioritize smarter. Third example, HR. They care about employee experience, retention, and hiring. So you can say, this model predicts which people are at the highest risk of turning over so that you can step in early and keep your top talent. So in summary, instead of saying the data shows X, say, here's what it means for you. All right, now you know how to speak their language, but here's the next challenge. How do you present your data in a way that actually hits? Because harsh reality number four is this, data doesn't speak for itself. Stephen Few, a data visualization legend said it best, numbers have an important story to tell, but they rely on you to give them a clear and convincing voice. Let me show you what I mean with a before after makeover. Here's the before. There's a lot going on here. You're giving all the data, but stakeholders won't get it. Why? There are lots of colors. Your eyes don't know where to look. It's just numbers, no clear takeaway. There's no direct labeling. So your stakeholders are squinting their eyes and the stakeholder is thinking, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Now watch what happens when we clean it up. <sighs> Much better, right? Fewer colors, only highlighting the key message. A title that explains the key insights, a simple annotation that tells the story, and direct labels. You can now read the values without playing detective. If stakeholders have to decode your charts, you've lost them. So be the guide and tell people where to look. You cleaned up the graph, you nailed the insights, and you're feeling good. And then you hear it. Hmm, this isn't what we really needed. People say that they're data driven. But what they really mean is, please find the data that supports what I've already decided. Sounds familiar? Well, you're not alone. In the next video, I'll show you the three skills that separate the top 1% of analysts. So your insights actually get hurt, not by being louder, but by being smarter about how you work with people. See you there.